It's most appropriate Veterans Day. An Idaho soldier killed in action in the war on terror this spring, remembered in Boise today as a man who loved every moment of his young life. And now there's a monument in the city of Trees to ensure his sacrifice is never forgotten. Our own Eric Fink has the story. Last April, Army Sergeant Chris Workman died when his helicopter went down in Afghanistan. Today, on the first Veterans Day since his passing, his family and friends proudly raised our flag in his honor. I think about his face. I think about a lot of stuff. For seven months now, Anna Workman continues to endure the never-ending pain. In April, Anna's youngest son, 33-year-old Army Sergeant Chris Workman of Rupert, died defending our country. Chris's okay, mom okay, says she'll okay. forever consider her son a hero for always going above and beyond. And perhaps that's why his parents and members of his church congregation gathered on this Veterans Day in Boise, unfurling the ultimate symbol of our country and dedicating a flagpole in the soldier's honor. He loved the Army and uh, it was his niche in life. He, he loved doing what he wanted to do. Although he had a short life, he had a wonderful life. It seems like he's still with us, but he's not with us. Anna recalls one of the last notes she received from her boy. He messaged me one day on Facebook and he said, I'm the one that's always yelling, go, go, go. And I replied to him and I said, where are we going? And I didn't get a reply back. I think he meant go, 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 let's go, 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 guys. Because he wanted to be out there. He wanted to be in the helicopters and he wanted to be doing his job. Sunday, the job for those who love a young hero gone too soon. Just showing up right here, together singing the Star Spangled Banner. And cementing Chris's memory in the lives he touched. Chris Workman is one of 63 Idaho soldiers who lost their life in the war on terror. In studio, Eric Fink. Today's six on your side.